This is Evie to review of a new Lego Beyblade, and this is Big Bang Genesis. I haven't recreated a real bay in Lego form in a while, but I decided to here. You see, it kind of got the colors with uh, the purple, the pink, and the silver. I wasn't able to fit gold on here with this scale, but I think it's decent. And the metal had to be misplaced too because, again, scale and a gimmick but the shape very closely resembles Big Bang Genesis you can see this thing here the point and then the contact points over here this one however has a gimmick to where whenever it spins the sides pop out and they retract whenever you pick it up it works pretty well Sadly, for the most part, this one isn't really compatible with the other bays that I've been making recently. But it does have something special where you can see right here, I have Yard as a placeholder on it right now. You can actually attach real drivers to this. It's the first time I made a bay that could do this. And I have Yard Metal since it is Big Bang Genesis. And it still scales with the other Lego bays. And it spins well. Let's just look at each of the parts individually. You have the spin chip, the layer, which is all one big piece, and then the driver. However, with the Big Bang Genesis, it did come with the Big Bang armor that could attach onto it. Still annoying to get on. I made my own version of it that looks like this. And it has a little bit of weight to it, despite looking really thin. And what you can do is there are two slots right here between the pink. And there are two pink things right here that will slide into place. Oh, it's never done that before. Hold on. Oh, okay, it was already starting to come apart because apparently it had broken it. But you see right here, these two slots, it will slide right in. And whenever it does, it locks the gimmick into place so it doesn't mess it up. And you see now the layer is very thick. And let's just put it back together so you can see. It is a little bit annoying to get the tip on. There. It still works fine. And this is very heavy too. But um just real quick, I would like to go over this little thing that I made. Because I'm probably going to be using it every once in a while with some new ones that I make. It can fit any Takara driver except for the electric ones like this. See that's not going to fit because of these prongs. But any normal driver it can fit fine it can fit dash drivers here's the mention dash just to prove that and it can also support hasbro drivers it's not very tight but the preferred one to use is yard metal with this one because once again it is supposed to resemble big bang genesis all right, let's go ahead and get the scale out and weigh each of the pieces individually. The spin chip is not even a whole gram. It is very light. The layer, or oh, hold on, scales on to mess up. It is one gram. And then you have this. It is 64 grams. The armor, 18 grams. And then the yard metal driver is eight. I'll combine all that together. It is 94 grams in total. So it is pretty heavy.
and I think it did a decent job with looking like Big Bang Genesis with the armor and without it. Once I get the driver on, I will do a quick comparison of the two layers. You see this is a good bit bigger, but it's usually how it is. And I know I didn't nail the Big Bang armor because I wanted to make it just a little bit different so it wasn't just like this. But I think it looks alright. Let me know your thoughts below about this Lego Beyblade. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.